Hi everybody, Brian from Witch Doctor here. Did another test today using the amp press. This time I looked at the pressure curves um, from annealed brass versus not annealed brass. Took the same 15 pieces of brass from the last test, annealed them, and then uh, took the other 15 pieces of brass from the last test and did not anneal them. So out of the total 30 pieces of brass, I annealed 15 and then did not anneal the other 15. Um, I took the annealed brass and ran it through the amp press and the annealed brass demonstrated this curve. So if you notice all of the traces, the traces are basically the pressure curve, all pretty linear in shape. Um, and if you look at the range of the overall pressure, um, you look at they kind of fell between 60 and just under 80 in terms of overall final pressure. So interesting result for the annealed. For the cases that were not annealed, showed a little bit of sort of linear but then it kind of leveled out a bit and then it went back up so there seemed to have been just an ever so slightly and more obviously noticeable dip here like right around the um uh, right around the middle of the sort of seeding process you can kind of see it here a little bit but it's not as obvious as here what is obvious though in terms of the difference is the range of the overall pressure uh, for the brass that was not annealed, the range kind of went from around 50 to 65. So interestingly, not annealed brass needed um, less pressure overall to fully seat the bullet than the annealed brass. So that was an interesting finding. Um, on paper, the annealed brass did better in terms of performance. The average group size for the three five shot groups shot with the annealed brass was 0.175. And um, we had a zero in there. I just wanna show that. We had a really small group there. Um, so this is the group profiles for the annealed brass. Really small one, a little bit bigger, some vertical, a little bit bigger, some horizontal. And then for the non-annealed brass, this one was a little bit all over the place. This one had some slight vert and horizontal. And then this one, a um, little bit of vertical. It looks like one popped up there. Anyway, um, overall, in terms of the data, the average group size for the three five-shot groups for the annealed was 0.175. And the average for the not annealed was 0.2487, which is a 74 thousandths difference. Um, so pretty, pretty, pretty big difference in terms of short range bench rest shooting at 100 yards. Um, and the annealed brass definitely showed better performance. Um, and in terms of velocity, um, about the same. There was only three, three feet per second difference in the overall velocity um, and about 2.3 feet per second in the standard deviation and four for extreme spread. So not much difference in velocity i'd probably say none but for group size yes 74 thousandths difference and again the interesting thing is uh sort of the shape of the curve almost being sort of perfectly linear here with the um, annealed brass but requiring more pressure for to achieve that final seat relative to the not annealed brass it kind of showed a much more pronounced dip here near the middle of the seating process and then had much lower um, pressure needed to do the final seat. So interesting stuff. Anyway, looks like annealing once again, um, definitely a good practice uh, and I highly recommend it. Um, so everybody, hopefully uh, you find some good information from this video. Please subscribe, like, and share. Thank you.